from Barry Ashley. I am at my store sitting in this really rickety chair. <laughs> and it's been a long time since I have come on to YouTube, but I just kind of wanted to just drop in for the most part, just to thank the very few four subscribers for subscribing and people are asking me a little questions i'm getting little messages you know it's i haven't really even wanted to make a video because there's just so much weird stuff going on right now and i didn't want to feel like a fraud getting up here just saying everything is all good and kosher and that ain't the case <laughs> things are still a little weird <laughs> um but since I do have like a few subbies that came in, I am just so thankful to have you guys and that you guys are even, you know, interested in knowing about Barry Ashley and me, Ashley, and you know, the little brand that I have here. And also, again, some people ask some questions and I would love to answer them. So um, one of the questions was about, um, the website that I use at the time I was using um, Squarespace and I absolutely love Squarespace. I use Squarespace all the time, which people might not know is like as a way to relax, literally, I literally build websites <laughs> and I, I just love building websites and just throwing things up there. Squarespace is my most favorite platform. Um, so I went to that platform first to build the website for the store. But during COVID, we started getting a lot of orders online and I started uploading more product onto the website. And Squarespace, as much as I love it and as beautiful it was, it wasn't able to really handle all of that. So I had to move over to another platform. So right now I am at Shopify. And quite frankly, I love Shopify. Shopify is really good. I honestly wish that I had gone to Shopify much sooner. Because Shopify just offers so many apps and just so, it just offers so much for the, the e-commerce, you know, stuff. It, I mean, it's just fantastic. I just love how it connects so seamlessly with Facebook and I get orders from Facebook and Instagram. I get orders from from Instagram. Um, I'm absolutely loving how the marketing is really good. So here, so here are the apps that I use. I use, um, of course, I use, um, I just said Instagram and Facebook, but there is a um, another app that I do my email marketing on and I use Clavio. Clavio was really good. I did have somebody actually set up all the automations for me. I have seven automations, but I can go in so easily and create a newsletter that goes out to everybody, a newsletter blast, and those are so convenient. Um, and I love that. I also use something called Postscripts. Postscripts is phenomenal. It's text message marketing, which has the highest conversion rate. It has 30 three percent conversion rate every single time i send a text message out i get sales i don't know what is the secret sauce for that text message marketing but i am so in love with it like seriously um so those are the main things that i use oh and then also go shippo is the company that i use to ship my my um products to the customers i love that it is so affordable and I mean, I just pay per shipment, which is super cool. Um, I have been told that ShipStation is really good. I've tried to use ShipStation a couple of times. It was not all of that for me. I didn't see what all of the hoopla was. Maybe later on I'll switch over to it or try to switch over to it again. But for right now, Go Shippo is the truth. And that's where I'm staying. Um... Those are like the really big things that I use with Shopify. Um, I will say also, I mean, I'm, my store is in this beautiful mall. We're in um, Stony Point Fashion Park here in Richmond, Virginia. And so I do have a photographer that comes once a week and she takes pictures of, um, you know, the clothes and 
the things that are here in the store. So I use those pictures and put them on the website. <clears throat> um, yeah, so I mean, that's pretty much the whole rundown of the website. And, you know, I did upgrade my packaging, which is good. I think in the last video or so, I was literally putting things into little brown envelopes. <laughs> But now we've upgraded. I got, you know, decent packaging now. And then pretty soon I'm gonna upgrade even more to get um like actual personalized boxes. And that's how people will get their clothes in the personalized boxes. So things are most definitely getting better here at Barry Ashley. Um, at first, before COVID, like seriously, almost everything we did was in the store. I didn't even really do much online but now it's kind of like the online is really taking off and that is phenomenal that is phenomenal and so i think uh, probably by the end of this year as i'm looking at the the data which is something great that shopify has is the data um i'm thinking by the end of this year almost you know, we might be at 80% of my sales will come from online. So that'll be pretty amazing um, considering all that we're doing right now. So, um, yeah, so that is pretty much the answer to that question. The question was, why did I pick Squarespace over Shopify? And the answer is, I was familiar with Squarespace. Squarespace was super easy to use. That's why I picked it at first, but we're no longer using Squarespace because we just kind of outgrew it. And, you know, I became a larger store with bigger needs and I just couldn't stay on that Squarespace. It just kept me so small. So my advice is if you are a new boutique owner, store owner, and Shopify seems a little bit too complex for you. Um, and if you have like, maybe only like one product, like if you're one of those stores that just sells candles and you only have five different, you know, varieties or something, then that might be good. But if you're like a boutique and you're always updating your um, inventory with your new collections and this just in new shipments and stuff it, it's not gonna you will outgrow really fast really fast so that's that um yeah so outside of that you know i can't say it's all sunshine and rainbows up in these streets i'm not even gonna lie to you um everybody knows retail is kind of suffering i want to say thanks be to god very Ashley is doing very well, but it's a lot of work right now running the store and the website just to maintain. I am in my store literally every day. Luck Thankfully, luckily our hours have been reduced. The store is open from 12 to six We're every day, except for Monday, I'm closed on Monday. But guess who's running the store every day from 12 to six? every day except Monday, that's me. And that is a little overwhelming because, you know, I'm doing it all on my own and, you know, trying to juggle a lot of balls. Sometimes they fall. Sometimes I do really well, but sometimes not so good. And I could really use some employees I used to have them before COVID. Now, post COVID, I don't. One of my superstars, she has decided not to return. I'm not 100% sure why, but I think it's because she is a superstar on her own right. And I mean, she has really taken the opportunity of the quarantine to start her own podcast. She's starting these communities. And I mean, she's just doing some really superstar stuff. And I know she's a superstar, that's why I want her back. But the whole point of Barry Ashley is to support and foster women to do big, beautiful and amazing things. So I am super proud of her for going off and doing her own thing, starting her own business and, you know, 
just being the star that she is, but God dang it, I miss her. And it's so hard to replace her because she was just such a superstar. So I have this, um, these, you know, job postings out and I've been interviewing people. And I'm telling you some of these folks that come through this door and some of the folks who send me their resumes and cover letters are just ridiculous. Like, <laughs> I'm like, what in the world? Who would ever hire you? But, um, you know, but the right one will come along. But I, I definitely send my heart out to my my old teammates. Like, you know, I rather, I don't really like call them employees. I rather call them, you know, my teammates, team members, um, associates. Um, but you know what? I, to be honest, I'm looking for it more superstar women I, I love boss women i love being around boss women I, I would honestly i would love it if more people like her came in here for a little while and then went off and did their own superstar stuff and i could help and foster that i like that but we don't get a bunch of those superstars every day child Woo, lord <laughs> we don't they are seemingly few and far between <laughs> But that's all good. Somebody else will come along. And I most definitely wish her all the best. And as much as I love her, I'm sure there's a million others who do as well. So I'm sure she's going to be fine. Um, and I'm sure Barry Ashley is going to be fine too. But it's just kind of hard to, you know, make YouTube videos when you're doing everything. So, But, um, yep, we're still in the mall. We're still doing good. You know, I am hiring Corona did not wipe us out. I'm, I suspect we'll be here for a while. And yeah, hopefully you guys will be along for the ride. So this video is looking like it's already after 12 minutes long. So I'm going to leave it here. But um, I hope to see you guys soon. And actually, just before I let you go, why don't I just show you a little bit around the store. We hit this little creaky chair. So we got a few things coming in again um, later this week, but so everything that is on the door, let me get myself out of the way. It's kind of nice. You guys are like literally on my phone. So over here in this section is where we, a lot of my sale items are here. Um, we have these great pieces from this designer named Abidus. So fantastic. I'm like in love with this dress. Um, she also did this dress. Oh my gosh, she's a superstar. Hand made, like, girl is ridiculous. Um, I was gonna just stand at the front and I will show you guys what it's looking like. When you come into the store, you can pick up a free mask, hand sanitizer. Hopefully you already have a mask on, but if you don't, I offer it for you because I'm not trying to catch whatever situation you got going on. And yeah, that's the store. And then finally, people ask about this little one here. <laughs> she is down in her cubby hole. Say hi to the people. I know it's so sad. I went to this TJ Maxx and bought that dog a freaking $75 bed. Does she use it? No. She don't want to use it at all. What does she want to do? Sit in a cubby hole. Sit in a cubby hole. <laughs> all right, y'all. Take care. Thanks for watching. Bye.